Hi guys, it's Michelle from Little Mama's House. I know, I know, I know, I have not posted in forever, but finally, 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 I am here to do a gigantic haul. I know that's probably not what a lot of you guys want to see. You want to see tutorials. I just don't have anything new that I've filmed to show you guys because I've been so busy since Thanksgiving, basically, just inundated with orders at the shop for custom work. And um, that's great. I love doing the custom work. I'd rather be doing the work than, you know, sitting and filming. But I have had some of this stuff since September, <laughs> sitting in boxes and bags. I have not opened any of it since it's been picked up at Louis Vuitton. And so it's high time that I have done these reviews and unboxings and showed you guys all these things I've gotten over the past few months because they've just been sitting in my office not being used. And that's not like me. I love to use my stuff. I don't really just put it in the closet and forget about it. So one of these things I was dying to use this past weekend, it was just my birthday and I was going to use it to go out and I'm like, I can't, I haven't unboxed it yet. So we're doing this unboxing today and we're going to get through all of it. All right. So here we go. And I'm going to start with the thing that was actually purchased first. And that is in this little bag here. I'm just going to move these out of the way. So that is this little guy. Now, I think I've mentioned on this channel before that my husband, he is not really into luxury goods or luxury purchases at all. That's just not his thing. He's really just, eh. I mean, he's fine. He doesn't care if I buy it, you know, whatever. But it, he doesn't really go in for buying it for me, usually. But this particular item, back in September, this was a limited edition item from the Christmas collection. It came out in September. And usually, you know, I'll show my husband, oh, look what came out at Louis Vuitton. He's like, yeah, great, whatever. But this particular thing had a special meaning. And I'll show you what it is first, and then I'll explain to you why, I bought, why my husband actually bought this for me. And this is actually the first... Um, it's not the first Louis Vuitton he's purchased for me because he did buy me um, my Manhattan that I showed you guys before. He got that one for me, but that was pre-loved. But this is the first one he's purchased in store. So um, that was kind of kind of cool. And it's something that, some it is something that I really, really like. And this is one of those things that I might not use a lot. Um, and you'll see why when I open it just because um, it is something that actually has special meaning and I don't want to ruin it. So, and I apologize, I didn't pre-open anything. Huh, whatever. So this, back from September, was the limited edition Louis Vuitton mini pochette. And I got the one with the two giraffes on it. And so the reason that my husband agreed to get this for me um, and I was sort of surprised even when he did was that giraffes are Anthony's special animal since literally the day he was born um, when my dad came to visit him in the hospital my dad bought him a baby stuffed giraffe and he just loves giraffes that's you know he's got two favorite animals giraffes are one of them and he has the um, really big like Melissa and Doug six foot tall giraffe stuffed animal and then it has a baby with it and those are you know he's had them forever he loves them they're in his room and so when this came out actually before it came out when all the pictures of it had sort of been leaked around on the Facebook pages I had been browsing through as I as I do and Anthony saw it and he goes mom look that Louis Vuitton has you and me on it and I was like oh god I, I have to have it like now I have to have it. Usually I don't go in for the limited edition stuff, um, but because this happened to be the mom and the baby giraffe, and Anthony said that it was like automatic, now I have to have it. So my wonderful, as always, SA Kylon pre-ordered it, and then as soon as it got to store, we went down and picked it up. And so as you can see, um, as my son has told me, this one is him because it has a blue bag. So Anthony and mommy shopping at Louis Vuitton. So um, this is my limited edition. Um, this was for the Christmas 2017 uh, mini pochette. And you know, it doesn't hold a ton, um, but it's perfect to go, well, it still has um, all the tags in it, obviously, but it's perfect to go inside 
of a bigger bag to hold some essentials and that's probably what I would use it for but um, honestly with this one because it has the um, painting on it and because it has a special meaning outside of just being a nice Louis Vuitton item I might not use this one as much as I would if it was just a plain mini pochette because I really don't want to do any damage to the beautiful painting into the two giraffes. So this might be one that I only take out for special occasions. I'm not sure yet. I mean, I really love it. But again, I don't want to spoil it because it it's special. So again, this was the <laughs> purchase way back in, I, I think it was September. Well, you know what? I'll tell you exactly when it was. It was in... September 6th. So that's actually surprisingly accurate. Yeah, December 6th. Um, and this came at $382.50. So there we have that. Um, and again, it's just, uh, it just touched my heart when Anthony was like, Mom, it's you and me shopping. You know, so that is a very special little item. And it's been sitting in my closet in the box. <laughs> so now I'll, you know, I'll, um, obviously I'm repacking it up now. I don't know why I'm gonna go put, them, put it away nice and neatly upstairs once I'm done with the video. So that was the first thing. Now the next thing I picked up, I believe in mid October, and this was a repair. Now, those of you guys who know me and who've been following me a while know that I don't particularly care for DA. So the fact that I even have this purse is sort of me, you know, I, I don't love it. And in fact, I don't love it so much that I'm going to be listing this for sale as soon as I'm done with this video. And that's also a part of the reason I was like, I need to unbox this today because I need to sell it because it's just, I'm not going to use it. And it's not that it's not beautiful. It's that I live in like the gross weather capital of the world and it's never nice enough to use it. I, I generally don't baby my stuff, but you know, conversely, I don't want it to be splashed with rain and mud. So just is not for me, but is beautiful is this Louis Vuitton Speedy 30 in DA. And I had all of the leather replaced on this. So the Again, for those of you who know that I don't really like DA. So the, the, <laughs> this bag was one of my customers. They had sent it to me to be restored. And the restoration just didn't, it didn't pan out well. It wasn't what we wanted. It wasn't what they wanted. And so I decided to make them an offer for the bag. So I bought the bag from them and it, it was pretty damaged. The, um, the corners were completely split. Um, the, the leather in the corners was completely split and it had become like blackened. So there was just nothing more to do for it. So what I did is I bought them out of the bag, basically. So um, I took over the bag and I decided to take it into Louis Vuitton and have all the leather re replaced, knowing that then I would probably turn around and sell it rather than keep it for myself. And as you can see, I mean, and I've discussed this before on the channel, I'm going to actually leave it. Um, you'll never see a new Louis Vuitton from the store come with stuff on the handles. But when it's been a repair, this is how it comes back. A lot of times the essays will take this off before they hand you back the repaired item. Um, but Kyla leaves it because she knows that I, well, she knew one, that I probably wasn't going to be keeping this bag and two, that I like to unbox things for you guys. So here you go. This is the Speedy 30. And again, as usual, when they do replace all the leather on a bag, it is pristine. It is basically a new bag. Um, it looks gorgeous, and Kylan had it stuffed because it had been sort of losing its shape. But as you can see, they don't replace, unless you request it, they don't replace these thing, um, these pieces of vachetta here on the inside, and that's how you can always tell that the bag has been repaired, that those are the originals. So you can see it was sort of this darker... darker patina. Um, this bag is from, oh, the pocket side has been replaced, actually. There we go, because the pocket was, the pocket was damaged as well as it being, um, the side. So the pocket is actually brand new, um, but the rest of the interior wasn't touched. So this bag was from, let's see, 2007. This was made in the USA. And it's basically now a brand new bag. So this is going to be 
up for sale very shortly. I'll probably list it in my Facebook group first and let them have first dibs on it. Um, I'm not going to ask the price of a new bag because that's not right. This bag is from 2007, but I will probably just ask for whatever the cost of my repair was um, on it to be fair. And I'm not going to share that with you, but I am going to look. I have all my repair receipts as usual. They come in this lovely little envelope. And yeah, so I'm, I'm going to ask what, what the repair cost was because that's only fair. So we have that. Now, um, again, this is what it would look like on. This is a 30. So it's a very, it's a cute style. Speedy 30 is one of my favorite bags, just not in this pattern. It's just not functional for me. And sorry for the awful lighting. I'm filming this in a room I don't usually film in. Um, now it turns purple. I don't know, but <laughs> this is about the size of the bag. And again, I just came from the gym, so I'm in sweats and sweats and gym clothes. <laughs> Whatever. So that's what it looks like on. And um, Kylan did give me a new lock and key set because um, the previous owner of this bag had the lock and it was stuck on. Usually I can pick the locks. I have have pretty good success with getting locks open and I could not get that lock open for the life of me. I had tried for hours and hours and it was not budging. So when they took all the leather off and replaced it, the lock went with it. So Kylan um, very generously set me up with a new lock and key and I'll include that for whoever ends up buying this bag down the line. But there you have it. It's a Louis Vuitton Speedy 30 Repair in um, Demure Azor. I'm pretty sure I said Demure Ben before. It's D-A, Demure Azor. So, pack this back up. Alrighty, the next item I have to unbox for you is um, a hot stamp job. And this little item, I got this done when I went to pick up this CD. So it's also been sitting since mid-October. Um, this little item in here, I had gotten this for one of my very, very good customers. I think she's done like four or five bags with me before. And she was having something dyed purple. So I thought as a thank you gift, I would get her a luggage tag in purple so that she could put it on the bag. And I know it looks blue on my computer, but it is actually like a violety purple. Um, put it in the better light. Maybe you can see the color better. No, not really. It still looks blue. It's purple. I know it looks blue. Probably because I have it behind a purple, in front of a purple wall is why it's looking so blue, but it is purple. Um, so I was going to give this to her as a thank you gift for being such a great customer. Well, it turns out that she actually bought this luggage tag on her own herself to go with the bag I was dying for her. So it ended up not, it ended up not working out as a gift because she already had it. So, um, rather than return it, I thought I would keep it. So what I did is I had Kylan, um, hot stamp it with my initials. So... Um, you see there, and again, this lighting in here stinks, but it's, um, a hot pink. It, it looks orange. It's actually a hot pink hot stab and just has my initials and a heart underneath. So I thought that that was cute. Um, I generally, um, I think I've said before on this channel, I generally don't go in much for, um, luggage tags and bag charms and that sort of thing. But if I do put something on my bag, it is... A luggage tag so I thought that that would be nice rather than return it since it was such a beautiful unique purple I thought well I'll just then use it for myself and get the customer um, a little something different which I did do so I wanted to show you guys that because it came out beautiful now the next two things were um, cri Christmas gifts. so as you can see this bag is different it's the Louis Vuitton holiday bag it has the beautiful gold shiny ribbon and the gold details and gold Louis Vuitton. I love this bag. I keep my bags. Usually I keep my bags in my boxes. I fold them up and if I have to go drop off an item for repair, I usually carry it in one of the shopping bags rather than 
just carry it you know normally but I do always keep these especially like I like if I'm going to sell like with that um BA Speedy when I sell it I can always include the bag if the person wants it it's always just a nice touch so uh, the beautiful holiday bags and what's really funny is um one of my neighbors got a ne ne uh, never full uh, a New York neighbor got a never full for Christmas and she had the bag and she was putting the bag outside like she's just gonna recycle it and this is us, like my family, of course, my mom's driving by. She's like, look at that Louis Vuitton bag. I'm like, stop. And so I ran out. I was like, can I have the bag? I know it's stupid sounding, but can I have the bag? I just really like these bags. And so I took the bag. <laughs> but this isn't it. This is my own bag from Christmas. But I have a second one upstairs, too. So I was sort of excited about that. I don't know. It's ridiculous. But it's just a thing. I have a big stack of them in my closet for no reason whatsoever. But I like to have them. So... These are the things that I got at Christmas time. And this one is just something very small. And I'm going to probably go back. Um, I think I've mentioned before that I don't really get hot stamping on bags because bags don't always stay with you. But SLGs are a little bit different because it's, to me, this is a disposable sort of item. I'm going to use it until it's unusable basically um use the heck out of it until it's so worn that nobody is going to want to buy it secondhand so this type of thing i do like to get hot stamps like i have my um four ring key holder hot stamp so i probably will go back and get this hot stamped but the day that i went to pick it up it was so busy in there right after christmas that there just wasn't time it wouldn't have been fair um to kylan to ask her to have to go hot stamp it when she was so busy so i'll go back for that another time but it is just a little zippy zippy coin purse and I've been wanting these for one of these for a while just to use as a wallet for when I'm carrying a smaller bag there's nothing that drives me crazier when I'm carrying a bag than trying to fit I have like a really big long uh, Louis Vuitton full-size wallet and it just does not fit well in smaller bags and then I'm uh, trying to shove it in there and trying to get it out quickly to pay it's just a little too much so I like the option of having this for when I'm carrying something a little bit smaller the rare occasions where I'm not carrying everything I own with me that way I can it has plenty of card slots in the sides I hope you guys can see that in this lighting it's got plenty of card slots in the sides and then I can carry all the cards I need and any cash or whatever with me without having to take a huge honking wallet and this um, comes in at 390 so it's not ridiculously priced it's a perfect little size and it's been on my to get list for quite some time so I picked that up for Christmas okay and now the, the piece de resistance my wonderful French um, was a Christmas gift let me just put this away and again, just like with the bag, I don't know why. I keep these. I keep them every time. It makes no sense, but I do. Is the big thing that was a Christmas gift. And it was also in this same bag that I just showed you. And it is in here. There you go. And this is something I've been going back and forth over for a while. You guys know I usually try to buy pre-loved. Well, this was a gift I had had in mind and I wasn't gonna buy it myself so this was a gift and I'm just gonna not waste any of your time because I'm sure you're all wondering what's in there and this is this is the one that I was debating whether I should just open and use this past weekend on my birthday and held off so that I can show you guys so here we are the Louis Vuitton Alma BB in black epi leather now look at that is that is adorable this bag is so cute it comes with the little um clochette for the key um it does have a silver uh lock set which is inside of it and it is just the most adorable little little bag now i know it's hard to believe i think i'm up to 21 louis and i don't have any in black leather I just I had um these um 
Citizen. Oh my god, I can't even remember the name of it. Oh, I had had that one. The you guys saw it. It was the um, Ampriant, and that was in the Innie Finney, which was uh, dark, dark navy. So I had that, and I sold it because it was just too heavy. But I do have a black Epi Madelon backpack, but no black handbag. So I was going back and forth. Was I going to use it? Is it too small? And then I decided, you know, I had tried on the uh, Givenchy Antigona. Excuse my awful pronunciation there. And I loved it, but it's not a Louis. I, I felt very, like, disloyal. I don't know, like my grandmother was going to strike me with a bolt of lightning or something. <laughs> So I went back and forth because this is a very similar size, but I decided to ask for this instead. And I'm so glad I did because it is just absolutely adorable. And as you all know, I am under five feet tall. So this is really a, a good size bag for me. I haven't carried it yet, but I'm sure I will enjoy it just from trying it on in the store. It comes with this creamy, skinny little strap. And I am short enough that I can wear it crossbody if I so choose and I'll show you some mod shots after um, and then inside it has oh my goodness my fingers it has a uh, silver lock and key set which I haven't even opened it's right there and I like that it's silver because every single Louis I have is gold. Even my Madelon is gold. I guess it's not really that big of a deal, but I do wear a lot of silver jewelry. Um, my wedding rings are silver. Um, I know you guys never see me dressed up, but when I get dressed up, I promise you, I do get dressed up. And when I do, I wear, I love to wear my jewelry. And um, I wear gold, but not a lot. Most of my jewelry is silver. I have a bunch of Tiffany. I like silver better. Personally, it's just just a better fit for me. But anyway, I always all my Louis are gold, so I really was excited that this had the silver hardware as well. So again, I haven't, I haven't worn it yet. It still has all of the um, paperwork in here. But I will quickly show you. It's going to be really hard to show you the inside of this bag, but basically, it just has one open, open pocket. Now it doesn't open super wide and it's also a dark gray sort of chenille you can sort of see the color there it's like that dark gray chenille inside i think it's alcantara i think i think that it's light enough that i'll be able to see my things inside that was the other thing i didn't really care for about the antigona was that it's a black bag with a dark black inside and it was like a pit you couldn't really see your your SLGs floating around in there because it was so dark. But this, at least the gray, um, like I have a black O case, uh, o case that I like to use until now I have the zippy, but I have a black O case that I would normally put in something like this size. And you wouldn't have been able to see it on the black lining of the other bag. So this, at least the gray, gets some light in there reflecting. It's not just like a guess and grab type of situation. But I will quickly show you so. Again, let me see if I can get good light. There we go. So on me, again, I'm under, I am under five feet tall and 4'11". So if I was going to carry it handbag style, I could carry it on the crook of my shoulder. My arm is small enough that I can get it in there and carry it like this. It's really light. Um, I could hand carry, which I probably wouldn't do. You guys can't see what that would look like anyway because I'm just too short. <laughs> but if you clip... And this strap is non-adjustable, so for some of you taller ladies, you probably won't be able to crossbody this unless you got a different strap or a non-Louis strap. But, you know, that's doable, too. But I'll show you the straps hook on. It doesn't have side hooks. The straps hook on to this piece of hardware here. There's one of these on each side, so it hooks there, and it hooks over here where the key bell is. And then you can wear it. I'm on my tiptoes here, so I really hope you guys can see. You can wear it um, on your hip. Excuse my sweatshirt and gym pants. You can wear it on your hip like this, which sometimes I do prefer this to crossbody. I feel like because I have a, a bigger chest that when I crossbody, sometimes the strap is a little bit uncomfortable. 
But on this one, if I crossbody it, it just hits in like the perfect spot, right? Sort of um, at my hip. And it's just a perfect little bag. There we go, you can see that a little bit better. It's a perfect little bag for um, somebody short like me. Um, and now that it's open, now I can use it. <laughs> just that little thing inside me wouldn't let me use it without showing you guys first. I don't know, I don't know what that's about, but whatever. Um, <laughs> thank you all because now at least I can use my bag. And I also do like to, um, that unlike an original Alma, uh, this has feet. So no like placing it down and getting the bottom filthy. Um, I mean, it's black epi anyway, so dirt isn't going to show as badly on this. And I had thought about some of the other colors too, because it comes in lots of pretty colors and designs, but because I don't have a black regular carry handbag, it's sort of like, okay, Michelle, come on, get with the program. I mean, how many times can I, how, how much monogram can you wear, woman? Huh. The answer is all of it. But <laughs> occasionally I would like to have a black bag because, you know, in my opinion, it's a staple and it was missing. So here we have it. The Louis Vuitton Alma BB in black epi leather. So there we go. That is all of the contents of my mega delayed haul. I really hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. Um, if you're interested in purchasing that Speedy DA, I am going to list it up as soon as this goes live. It will be on my Reloved Creations Facebook page. I'm not going to put it on my Etsy site because it's just... Etsy would take a, a huge chunk of the <laughs> of the fee, and of course I do use PayPal for invoicing, but um, if I put it on Etsy, I pay twice. So I'm gonna list it only on my Facebook site, but if you're interested, you could always message me on Etsy and I'll set you up with a PayPal invoice. Otherwise, um, that's gonna be for sale on there, and then please stay tuned because I do have some tutorials coming. I'm just waiting for some customers' bags to get here into the shop. I think I'm down to I have nine bags here now that I'm working on, but most of them are just sort of routine stuff. But I have found a new cleaner that I like other than saddle soap. Ooh. And so I would like to be able to do um, a side-by-side -side comparison of the new cleaner versus saddle soap and see, you know, which cleans better, which does a nicer job for you guys and let you guys take a look at that. So that should be coming up as soon as I get something in that needs a, um, a cleaning. And um, I have a few other things up my sleeve that hopefully, if I actually get some time, will be coming very soon. So please make sure you stay tuned. And as always, thanks for watching. Bye.